Senseless violence. A three-year-old boy is recovering tonight after becoming the latest victim in a city ravaged by gunfire. Mm. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. I'm Mary Bubala. Darrell Johns is out of the hospital, and for the first time, we are hearing from his mom. She says they were waiting on the porch for a cab when she went inside just to grab her phone. And she says in that 10 seconds, she heard pop, 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 and she tells me her little boy now afraid to return home. I don't. My mind, I can't even think right now. Fransola Rice is simply going through the motions, trying to fathom that her three year old son, Darrell, was caught in the middle of senseless gunfire. I pray every day to try to cope with what's going on. I can't, and the prayers is not even working for me. It happened Tuesday afternoon along the 600 block of North Elwood Avenue in East Baltimore. That's when Rice says she and her son were waiting on the porch for a cab when she went inside to grab her phone. Gunfire then erupted, hitting a 38-year-old man and grazing little Durrell. He was actually gla grazed twice. Went across his chest where his heart is and swiped through his inside of his arm and then it hit him again. While the three-year-old was nearly killed, he's already out of the hospital but afraid to return home. He's like... Oh no, Ma, I don't want to go back there. They're going to hurt my other arm. Darrell's just the latest child to fall victim to the city's rampant gun violence. Just last week, it was five year old Amy Hayes who was caught in crossfire in West Baltimore. Over the summer, her seven year old sister, Taylor Hayes, was shot and killed. It was God that was with my three year old that didn't let the bullet go through. While Baltimore approaches its fourth year in a row at 300 homicides, this mother says it's rules on the street that have changed over the years, making it more dangerous than ever. It was a rule. Kids and old people and women never was supposed to get hurt. Now these <laughs> just loose a gone off of this stuff or whatever they doing and it's messing everybody up. Now, no arrests have been made in this case. Anyone with information is urged to call police immediately.